today we have the lecture concerning uh, the mystery uh, of glacier interior. What is this? Uh, this is special type of the caves on the glaciers. Uh, you know very well, sometimes you have possibility visiting the caves on the limestone, on the uh, uh, normally uh, rocks. And the glacier caves, this is other type. And uh, we have on the our planet two type of the ice. The one type is the ice on the sea and second type of ice is uh, ice on the glacier. How is definition of the glacier? You have on the picture, you visible uh, area uh, on the mountains with the few glacier. The, uh, the glacier, this is a uh, masses of the ice formed on the long uh, and, or uh, large snow accumulation. And the next element of the uh, glacier, the glacier uh, are a constant and usually slow movement. This is, uh, sometimes I receive the questions concerning the properties. The uh, ice, this is liquid or Ice is the uh, concrete, uh, like uh, stones, and uh, the ice is middle. Sometimes the ice have the uh, properties like liquid, and sometimes have the properties uh, like uh, stones. And how is next element for the glacier? Uh, the glacier need not so low temperature. The glacier uh, need the uh, for the leaf snow. Is uh, this peop places on the world where we have not lot of snow? Uh, for these places, the um, glacier not existing. For example, Siberia. In Siberia, we have the hot temperature on the uh, summer and low temperature on the winter and uh, on the winter there is very dry uh, uh, air in Siberia and not we not observe the lo uh, lot of snow and the snow accumulation uh, uh, necessary um, much bigger uh, comparing the melting uh, snow during the summer. And how much we have the glacier on the earth? Is this important element or not? Where we are checking uh, on the world, we have the more 16 million square kilometer of the glacier. This is third percent of the total earth area and where we are checking the glacier are on the uh, land this is approximately 10 more 10 percent of the continent area how is uh, distributed this uh, glacier where we checking from this 16 million more we have on the antarctica and the Antarctic ice sheet is approximately more 13 million square kilometer. And the other glacier we have on the uh, uh, island uh, around the Antarctic. And uh, how much glacier we have on the Arctic? It's not so much. On the Arctic, we have only two uh, million square kilometer and more is on the Greenland. On the Canadian uh, Arctic, uh, we have only 150,000. In the Russian Arctic is so lower, 
part, only 56,000 uh, on Svalbard, this is another place, Spitsbergen partly, is 35,000 uh, uh, square kilometer. For the other places from the Europe, the all glacier on the uh, Europe, on the mountains is not so much. Is only 19,000 uh, uh, kilometer in Asia, North America, South America, and Africa and Oceania. Where we are checking the picture on the Antarctic, we see the much more uh, land is covered by the ice. How is big this ice? This ice presented on the plane, you see, this is ice and some mountains uh, like Nunatak is higher of this ice. And where we are made the profile, and please see for this profile, we have in Antarctica sometimes more four kilometer thickness of the ice. This is much heavy and where you see here is the sea level, this ice putting down the all rocks and all continent uh, on the sea level. And where we are checking the Arctic, is also bigger area with ice and here is a lot of ice on the sea where we are going where we are checking out this sea ice you see on the land we have much more on the Greenland partly on the Island Island Svalbard Elsmer Island in Canada and here in the Russia Novaya Zemla is not a lot of the glacier and the thickness of the in uh, the ice on the uh, Greenland is approximately more 1500 meter and here you are visible the glacier in the Alaska you see the here the moraine where you are checking how many moraine have the front of the glacier, you know how many basing where the uh, ice and glacier start, we have together. On Svalbard, the people uh, investigated a lot of the glacier. And uh, 15 years ago, the uh, students from University of Svalbard putting here in this place's camera for observing how fast the glacier uh, moving or how many water uh, the glacier putting out. And uh, now I will be present you this film every day uh, on this camera. This camera made uh, two pictures, uh, two times per day. This is area where we have light all day because the uh, sun going on the sky 24 hours on the uh, summer season. And you see, this is glacier on the beginning of the June is a lot of snow on this area and you see how the glacier start for the moving and the glacier working like bulldozer you see the ice also take the lot of the clay a lot of the sediments and partly also rocks and how fast this glacier changing on the 
you see we uh, on this uh, film you have the uh, three weeks the this glacier moving names surging uh, one kilometer per three uh, weeks is uh, fast because normally the glacier moving per year between 20 to 200 meters this is normally flow of the ice on the glacier and uh, here the next element on this same Svalbard I present two pictures where I made where I flying to Svalbard you see here we have the Nordhorst uh, glacier and on 2009 next year later on this same area you see the, we have the markering this same valley here and here the glacier surging surging for the two months 10 kilometers where you check 10 kilometer per two months this is more 50 meter per day this, this speed of the surging is much higher and the next where we are going to the uh, mountains Caucasus we have the valley Carmadon and here you see this is uh, satellite images from NASA uh, the glacier uh, names Kolka this uh, uh, glacier also sometimes surging here you have picture from the land this is valley and the Kolka glacier on July 2001 on the next year where we are visiting the same valley you see the glacier moving and take the all forest all uh, grass and all also the animals which living on this area this distance between uh, bottom of valley to these places is 300 meters it is big event and event danger also for the people and uh, the next um, uh, picture presented what happened this search of this glacier br uh, broken the uh, road broken the houses and stop here and block it the water also for other valley and for the few years we have the new dump of this region and other region received the big flood and uh, also not good uh, places for the life this glacier Kolka move it very fast sometimes the speed of this glacier are very high this is approximately 100 kilometer per hour how is it possible this is not wrong data this is 100 kilometer per hour how we have this <laughs> precise um, data on this valley on the Carmadon Valley uh, we have the uh, seismological station this valley have the 17 kilometers and the we have the few sensor on the valleys when the glacier surging broken this uh, sensors and we are received how fast this glacier uh, uh, going and surging this is some high speed is possible not safety people because is any possibility using car 
because the glacier speed are much more high. And why the glacier have possibility moving? When you see the type of the glacier, sometimes we have situation where we have the glacier on the much more hot temperature. Here is much more water on the ice. And here we have the cold ice. And other situation where sometimes the glacier not, not moving, we have on this graphs. Here we have the uh, cold ice frozen to the bedrock and stopped move it, movement of the uh, glacier. Here we have another situation. We have the cold ice with frozen on the bedrock on the bottom and here we have ice with water like slush and this uh, uh, ice with water have possibility very fast floating. And uh, we have the um, very good data from the Hans Glacier. The Hans Glacier is on the Spitsbergen. Here we have uh, localization of the Polish Polar Station, the station working all year round. And here we have the lot of the uh, data from the observing how changing the front, uh, how uh, fast uh, uh, ice moving from here. This glacier are 17 kilometer long. Uh, then here the distance between these two mountains is the two kilometers. How is thickness of the glacier? And where you see these graphs, the thickness of the Hans Glacier partly is more 400 meter. We have the few elements of the, uh, this uh, glacier. Here we have the cold ice, like concrete. Here we have the snow and firm slush with many water. And this water partly percolating inside and filling the crevasses and channels on uh, this glacier. And here you have possibility comparing some high, uh, bigger uh, in Warsaw, the, the, this um, uh, palace uh, from Polish Academy of Sciences, 200 meter high. You see the ice will be possibly covered this uh, academy. The, on these mountains, the Hans Glacier, you have the visibility, many crevasses because this ice collapsing and going to the sea, to the water. Where you going little down, you have possibility comparing how bigger we have endanger this crevasses and next picture is also comparing necessary here climbing where we need going to second side of the glacier and on the top we have much more flat area with a lot of snow and here we made the uh, some using a few tents for the investigation on few days on the top of the this glacier. And uh, on the surface, sometimes we uh, have uh, the, uh, some streams and uh, with water. Here, this picture made on the beginning of uh, October, the lot of water from melting water uh, on this uh, summer season are stopped and a lot of this water going out on the these channels and uh, is any possibility going inside on the summer only on the autumn or
on the winter. Here I present you the film, how is bigger, how is possible bigger this outflow of the glacier. You see, this is outflow from the Torel uh, glacier. This is Professor Pulina who invest, uh, investigated this uh, source of the glacier. This is caves. On now the caves we know very well for the long, uh, one kilometer long. And you see, inside of the glacier, we have possibility observing the layers. This Every year we have the new layers of the owl forming from the uh, compacting the snow. And the next uh, film, how the water have possibility preparing the caves. When you going to the uh, glacier caves, you have this same elements like on the limestone uh, on the your country area and uh, caves on the limestone uh, need lo for the uh, established need much more longer time more few thousand sometimes few hundred thousand years the caves on the glacier created much more faster one two or three years this is this processes on the glacier are much bigger and higher where are you going inside sometimes you see this is not rocks this is ice on the some uh, lower part of the glacier is mm, not very good uh, places for the preparing some picture because uh, the uh, uh, light uh, not uh, have possibility uh, reflected the this ice is like glass on the big glass on the window on the 2000, uh, on the 1959, the Polish investigators from Polish Polar Station prepared the, some laps on the glacier. This is long tradition, and now we are using the much more modern laboratory, uh, pre preparing like igloo, and inside we have this type of the caves. These caves we are investigated last 20 years. You see how bigger channel we have on site, on the inside on the glacier. This is all ice. This is not rocks. And you see lot of water we have inside. On the outside, on the top of glacier, we have the temperature minus 10, minus 20 degree. Inside, the temperature is no more minus half degree because the water exists all time on the year. The speleologist exploring these caves from the last few years. Inside you see we are using much easy snowmobiles and 
here is entrance to the our laboratory inside of the uh, this case here is a diagram of the case here uh, you have the some few pits the pit have some deepest places more hundred meters sometimes is a big cave this cave along uh, one kilometer now and here is few picture from the inside this is all ice and the next film presented you how many water we have possibility expecting on this glacier the what the water level changing on the case you see partly here you have the markers from the frozen layer of the surface of, of the glacier this uh, This, uh, this water have not contact to the bedrocks, to the sediments, is very good also for supplying the uh, villages uh, near the glacier. And also we are using to the station, uh, to our station, this type of the water. You see, this is other picture inside of the glacier. This is next picture. And on the bedrock, on the bottom, the, here we have the glacier, 500 meter layer ice behind us. And the, some bigger caves on Svalbard now uh, we are investigated on the Torel, is uh, approximately three kilometer long. Sometimes we must using the uh, boat for the crossing the uh, some uh, lakes inside. Also, the distance to the entrance is very long, necessary for the investigating few days because we are using also the tents inside on the glacier. It's comfortable situation because here it is much more stable temperature, approximately minus only minus uh, half degree. But it's uh, not comfortable situation because the ice moving all time. The wall and uh, some pits collapsing uh, per few days. And uh, we are measuring how fast the two walls uh, collapsing on this glacier. It's uh, approximately seven millimeter per day. We must not, lo uh, we must uh, make our investigation sometimes much more faster were expect. And the next uh, film, you see this is all ice, and here you have the ice like the glass. You see. This is blood stream from the glacier. This is water. The water going all time inside, like our organism. This is circulatory water system on the ice. Also, you see here we have the bubbles, air bubbles. Partly the ice is visible like 
gills, like uh, fishing gills. And sometimes it's uh, on inside we have very spectacular visibility. Is uh, uh, here you see comparing the limestone. You have the stalagmites, stalagnats, and here is composite uh, the snow with ice, with the uh, sometimes dust or sediments. And the next film presented much more beautiful area insight. You have possibility comparing the stalagmites, comparing the people. How is this is monocrystals of the ice? Like some elements on the Christmas trees. This is stalactite When we are crossing these caves to the end, you see how bigger channel sometimes we observing. And here how many water is possible going out. This is outflow from the glacier is sometimes more 25 cubic meter per second. This is approximately one third of the Vistula River in Warsaw. Only on the one glacier we are receiving a lot of the water. And where we are going outside, we have possibility to see for other spectacular elements. This is Northern Light near the Polish Polar Station.
Thank you for your attention and I hope invite you also on the future to the Arctic. Maybe you are new investigators of this area.